don't mind what's that on the wall. That is something you just don't need to to, to see. What is it, people? My name is Jell of Zenimal here, and I'm back once again to do a brand new anime list as I give you guys some anime that involves with experimentation. Now, this is mostly involves with human experimentation. Now, with an anime like Darling in the Franks going up, skyrocketing in ratings, as well as people loving it, and as well as controversial shit that we have seen anime that involves with the same aspects of experimentations now it could be either be biologically it could be chemically it could be genetically altered it could be whatever the sucks it could be by you know getting experimented onto whatever association it could be for some cause it could be even to you know not even genetics you know from birth and even you know all that kind of stuff even for some game and so forth i mean these anime in my opinion um uh, really fits into the whole uh, experimentations kind of thing of you know getting these superpowers these psychic powers or any kind of ability that involves with resulting on these ex experiments and trust me some of these anime that really shows what the experimentations can do to someone or even a group of people and yeah that is it and let's get into the list let's do this so the first anime to talk about is charlotte now Imagine people from Clanad as well as from Angel Beats um, want to work on an anime together, and this is the result. Now, what happens in this anime is that we end up having this comet that ends up passing by Earth, you know, every once, 75 years, once in a while, and ends up, you know, having these small percentages of these preteens who inhale of this dust from the comet that ends up having superhuman abilities upon, you know, reaching puberty. And really, this anime, in my opinion, does not deserve all the hate it has. I mean, I know that, you know, they do have the structure and the pacing of the anime to be inefficient in in and as well as that even so that it doesn't really have good comedy and so forth sometimes it could be corny however in my opinion you know regardless of you know it has really beautiful animation it's you know and very cinematographic but it's something i love as well of some of its serious moments some of the moments i could say is really good but at the same time uh, it's a little too much melodrama in, in for my taste and so far you know i i find it to be decent in my opinion it's not horrible as people have said to me but if you haven't watched it if you are a fan of angel beats or clanad please check it out so the next anime talk about is Ray the Animation. Now, probably you might not even heard of this anime. And even for those who probably might even not even heard of Black Jack. And for those of you who don't know what Black Jack is, I mean, this anime evolves within the same timeline within the future that ends up having this young girl named of Ray that ends up being lived in an institution that raised other children that ends up having their organs to be sold to the black market and as well as that they are being identified on their backs by a number that ends up being kind of like subtracted to zero that ends up her being named Ray due to the Japanese word for zero. Now, within her growing up, she ends up losing her eyes by the institution and ends up being given a new pair of x-ray eyes by Black Jack and ends up growing up to be this well-known and respected surgeon due to her unique ability. I mean, this anime is really a mixture of a lot of things. For example, some of the things that they showed ends up being like really kind of have these hospital scenes in the first half and the other half ends up being like a mystery, ends up finding out what she grew up with you know what happened why she ends up being in this institution as well as the whereabouts of other children and so forth and it's something again is it is a really good anime for those who love you know black jack i mean if you haven't please check it out i really recommend so the next anime we're talking about is kes niver now let's just say if you've been cho okay never mind i was gonna say if you get chosen in fact they get a group of students that they uh, abduct and they be forced to join into this uh, Kizuna system as these Kazniver, which basically that they join them together through bond and through pain, which means that if someone gets hurt, 
everyone else feels that same pain as the one that got injured. And it's one of those animes that is somewhat, you know, forced of its drama and as well as that the ending of it, the last episode, really did not feel my expectation. But overall, I enjoyed it, especially the visuals is really what Trigger is well known for, as well as it's made by the same people that made Kill a Kill. And again, it is a good anime, just some things they were very lacking and some forced drama here and then. But if you're a fan of Kill a Kill, please check this anime out. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is Alex and Zoroku. Now this one involves with being trapped in a facility and ends up having these special abilities that they just don't want it, you know, shown into the world as keep it as somewhat of a dark secret from the public. Now we have our main protagonist who is a little girl that ends up possessing an ability called Alice's Dream where she can allow to create anything from her imagination just like Alice in Wonderland okay but really you know it's one of those things that really has to have the character to go out escape from the facility and experience the world outside that she has never experienced you know th has her being trapped in this facility and ends up being you know fighting enemies and so forth that try to capture her back into the facility and as well as in the other half in my opinion it's mostly slice of life which downgrades the anime in my opinion but overall it is a very enjoying anime especially for those who just want to kill the time as well as for those who just wants to watch something of of a moe aspects into it but it does have somewhat of a decent story plot um story so if you haven't watched this anime i really recommend to check it out for those who wants to kill the time so the next anime talk about is shaishu kaiji kanojo this anime oh my god i cannot explain how sad this anime is i mean especially that it involves with it a couple that ends up just starting to go out as the start of this anime especially that it's really awkward especially you know when you first start dating it's awkward at first but then next you know they end up happening during that time there is a war going on within you know japan and next you know one of the characters gets turned into a weapon basically like a war cyborg and the whole premise of this anime is basically it focuses on their relationship as a whole and especially of Chise, you know, what happens to her being turned into a cyborg and it's basically, you know, time to time losing humanity as well as, you know, the boyfriend ends up losing hope of what he can do to what is going on with, you know, Chise. And it's very a sad anime. It is confusing at first, especially in my opinion, within the last half of the Siri, but overall it is a good anime. It's a very sad anime and in my opinion It is something that you should watch for if you're really into like a romance drama Aspects especially when it comes to seeing things of within the war. So I really recommend So the next thing I'm talking about is AICO Incarnation now Netflix has gone it again of making an original anime it really, it's a cliche, especially it involves with an experiment gone wrong, caused an explosion that basically wiped out many, many things by this dark matter. I mean, it's something I could say as well as the character that we see, the main character, is actually a copy of herself created by her father that kind of saved during a car accident that her and her father got involved as well as her mother and brother got killed during this burst explosion and now this is an anime that involves with you know fighting out the truth as well as that she has to learn that she is a key to solve all of this catastrophe i mean it's something i could say i really enjoyed it but there's some things i could say that i did not enjoy like for example the dub could have been better i mean there's some really unnecessary things that they did with the dub i mean the dub really has some very big pauses they done not really good performances and it's not really the script itself not really in the same direction as the sub which really is a better you know <laughs> voice acting than the dub in my opinion and as well as you know overall it is a good anime i mean i really uh enjoyed it however it could have been better and so forth it really lacked on a lot of direction where it's supposed to be and overall it is a good anime i mean you could take a look at it but for me it's kind of like a half and half 
So the next thing I'm going to is Gunslinger Girl. Now when it comes to this experimentation, it involves with having them carry out dirty work. And what I mean by that is that we have an agency that ends up rescuing these dying girls from the hospital and ends up giving them these second chances by using them in some cybernetic advancements as well as that they have them brainwashed and trained as assassins to do the, the dirty work for the Italian government. And these ones, in a sense of that, regardless that they have these all these modifications, they still are just children. They basically have them in heart as well as that they're very struggling when it comes to, you know, having these feelings as well as, you know, emotions and so forth. And it's something that I really did enjoy when they first came out. I mean, it's an old school anime, you know, early 2000s. But regardless, I mean, it really shows, you know, what happens during this whole thing when it comes to unquestionable loyalty. And as well as overall, it is something very enjoying, especially the drama itself. You know, it does have its, you know, comedy here and then. But it's something, again, Again, it's really a compelling anime. If you haven't watched it, I please recommend to check this out. Okay, I know you what you were thinking. I'm gonna talk about Killing Bites, regardless, okay? Regardless, I'm gonna talk about it. Alright, so, <laughs> we have these big powerful businesses that ends up having random people to be created by experimentation regarding them turn into human animal hybrids and they end up betting on these specific characters to see the outcome of their duels like oh i'm gonna bet this character this person's gonna win or this character's gonna lose basically it's kind of like dead man wonderland where we have these or these businesses looking to see which one wins which one loses and so forth and that this one is very fan servicey i mean it really is especially that it's only on amazon streaming and all that kind of stuff if you have Amazon Prime, and I can see why, especially that it's very uncensored. And yeah, it, it, it's it, the fan service is real. I just have to say that. So the next thing I would talk about is Evan Lead. Unfortunately, this show is not getting more of any season whatsoever that I've been seeing throughout the internet, and I can see why. I mean, there's a show really really hits me to the core and watching it on my Xbox 360 it really gave me the feel especially that it really explores you know this, this whole child experimentation through DNA that the whole purpose is, is to wipe out humanity and putting the new species in charge kind of thing and even so that it really hits really hard topics you know such as bullying rape child molestation and all these things that they cover really hits you especially that it either makes you very emotional through anger sadness and all that twirls your emotion that twists your emotions very hardly and even so that i really you know at the last episode you know within the last part of it i i really got emotional especially that you know seeing through the past the backstories and even so through the amnesia of the main character it really hits me and i really really love this anime one of my personal favorites so much that i really recommend to check it out so the last anime to talk about is akira now even though the name Akira is actually a mysterious being where we have New York Tokyo that ends up being in some turmoil and ends up being decaying due to a pandemic. Now what happens in this film is that we have our friend Tetsuru who ends up, you know, fighting or running around in a biker gang and ends up being captured by the military who ends up experimenting, experimenting him and turning him to something unimaginable, something that is non-human. And even the fact that the military also wants him back, that they try to take him back at all costs. And that's something this film I really love, especially, you know, even though that regardless at the time, you know, the animation is outdated. However, you know, watching it and remastered and even all the anniversary, it's still great in my opinion and i do love the film overall and it's something again you should really check out if you haven't watched the film even for first first time viewers but be warned especially that it is very graphic and gory um so it's not really for everybody but if you want to watch a great anime film please take a look and that is it for me today people thank you guys so much for watching this video um it really means a lot to me um, if you give this video a like favorite share Click right there. Subscribe to the channel. Be part of the awesome crew. See some awesome videos. Um, it's really something 
um, that I always wanted to do. Um, even like when I first started my channel, I always wanted to do anime lists that I see nobody talks about something new or even of sorts of like something unusual, you know, unique. Um, and this one comes to mind, you know, because I, you know, been watching Darling and the Franks lately and I, I always see uh, that little as that main aspect is, you know, that that the characters uh, were experimented by the adults um, to operate uh, these mechas and even so that they have to in get injections and exams and all that stuff and that's a lot of the, these animes that I mentioned uh, has that similarity that they uh, were born you know they grew up and they end up you know being within these experimentations um, to fulfill whatever destiny or even some uh, project, operation, whatever it is, the sort um, that I've been seeing within these anime. But enough talk. <laughs> Hope you guys have an awesome day, night, whatever time zones you're watching this video. And I'll be making more anime lists. Um, it's gonna again, it will take a while due to you know what I'm doing with my real life. Um, but if you guys want to see any anime list you think I should cover. Let me know in the comment section below. It also means a lot if you share this video um, and subscribe. Uh, regardless of what YouTube is doing right now with its new changes, I'll still keep going what I love doing. And even so, that really means a lot if you also click on that bell notification. That way you'll get to know when I'll be uploading a video. And even follow me on Twitter right down below, at Anime, So that way you can see my latest um, tweets as well as you'll be notified when I'll be uploading a new video. Or even other sorts, whatever the case. That's why I mostly be active on Twitter and all that stuff. Thank you guys so much. As I always say, Anime signing out. Stay awesome. Love you all. See you guys next time. Adios. Peace. Okay.